Throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh, there has always been an established meta. And that meta goes on to influence what people typically play at the larger events. But what if you took a list of every deck from the September 2011 meta, randomized them, and put them into their own single elimination bracket tournament, allowing for exactly one of every different type of deck to be represented? In this series, Joe and I will be playing out a full single elimination bracket tournament. Each week, Joe and I will be playing a different deck, and whatever deck wins will move on, and whatever deck loses will be eliminated. The goal of this series is to see if the traditional meta will reign supreme, or if a new champion will be crowned. Be prepared for jank winning, meta losing, and for the format as we know it to be turned upside down. Welcome to the Tournament of Tournaments. All right, today I'm playing Dragoonides, you know, exactly the same list as previous, though there is one change. The last time I played this deck, there wasn't a Trident Dragon in the extra deck, which is actually, to me, one of this deck's main appeals. Trident Dragon is kind of a cool win condition where if you resolve a Ducks and have a Dragon lingering on the field, on the following turn, you can go into Trident Dragon, and then you can use the Dragon Tuner Phalanx plus the level 8 Synchro that was lingering on the field from the previous turn to go into Trident Dragon, and then that can just be game itself by doing three attacks at 3,000 attack each. The deck didn't have this in there the last time I played it, but it does today. Besides that, this is sort of just your very streamlined, very crisp monster lineup trying to get into the Ducks Phalanx play. A little bit of the backup plan with the Legionnaire play as well. It maxes out on Dragon Ravine because this deck basically can't function without it, but a Dragon Ravine that's just uninterrupted for multiple turns is very difficult for decks in this format to deal with. Now, granted, we're playing in a format where you know, you basically have that one normal summon a turn. There's not a ton of extenders, but we're also playing in a time period where people are playing things like Deep Prison and people are playing things like Mirror Force. So once you just push through the warnings, push through the Veilers, potentially max C, if you can open up the game state there and stick a level 8 Synchro and then just consecutively do that for turns that follow, it's really hard for other decks to compete with this one. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, before I jump into the deck we're playing today, I want to let you guys know that I have actually just launched a Patreon. If you'd like to support me and the content I make, go to patreon.com backslash TCG Rewind. We got some nice subscriptions with some pretty cool perks if you guys want to participate in that and help support me, the growth of this channel, and just in general support me throughout making videos and content for you. But other than that, we're back on the Psychics again. This is one of my favorite decks in all of Tengu Plant format. I think it's so versatile. It has so many d generic good plays and really good synergies with all the cards in it. I mean, Esper Girl with TG Warwolf is just such a cool combo. Can make you a Synchro without using your normal summon. So really excited to bust it out. Hoping we can beat Dragoonies and bring this into top eight. So without further ado, let's hop into those games. <laughs> Alright, Tournament of Tournaments, episode 51, and I can't believe it, but we only have 13 episodes left in the entire series before we find a champion, which feels completely crazy to me. It feels like we started, like, not even that long ago, but coming on the end here, Joe, you're playing, honestly, I think one of the deck with probably the hardest bracket of the tournament, it started with Dark World and then had to beat Kara Curry. Which is honestly like a really impressive like set of matches to go against, and, mm -hmm. and I get to play my my favorite deck of all time, or not not my favorite, but one of my favorites in Tengu Plants, uh, which is Psychic. So I'm excited to bust it out. But yeah, I, I'm kind of afraid of the Dragoonie. They they've been performing really well. Depends how you open. It's one of those decks that if it has the ideal start, it's really hard to beat. Yeah. All right. I, what what did we play last time? I don't even remember. It was. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you beat me with... All right, so yep. I'm going first this time. So, uh, you're on paper? All right, so there we go. All right, well, I'm not against going first with Psychics. Feel pretty good. So I'm going to drop a turn. I'm just going to set a card and pass. Pass. 
sure. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that means you have Valor the way you said okay. <laughs> well, I was just looking at your start. Effect. But I do have a Valor though. <laughs> yeah, I guess I think I just attack. Effect. Mm -hmm. I will banish. Oops. Banish the Esper girl. So next turn, this card hits the field, and then you banish the top card of your deck, and then when this card goes to the graveyard, you add that card to your hand. Correct. Go. Interesting. All right. I will draw for turn, and I will enter standby phase and activate the effect of which to special the Esper Girl. Yeah. Off that special summon... I will special summon Warwolf and banish the top card of my deck face down. Yeah. This does seem like insanely good. So yeah, we'll just go main phase one. And I will normal summon Silent Psychic Wizard and activate its effect to banish the witch. Yeah. I will then synchro for nine for mad value. Or Trishula. Do you have the Valor? Oh, uh, no. So I'll banish the Phalanx, the Ravine. And uh, let's hit a card out of the hand. Oh, my God. Alright, this one. Not bad. Then I get to trigger the wizard to special summon the witch. And I get to add this card to my hand. And... Yeah, that all seems pretty good. Let's just attack. Attack directly. Wait, that's not right. Oh yeah, it's way more than that. Sorry, right. I can't do math. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it should be a thousand. Twelve, twenty-six. Yeah. No, it's it's twenty-six, right? Fifteen, twelve. Well, yeah. No, no, he's not at fifteen. He's at seventeen. He gains two hundred for every dragoon you control. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that part of his effect. Yeah, okay. All right, I will go main phase two. And I will set one and set two and pass to you. Yeah. <laughs> What's in the hand? Uh, cards like Mind Control that won't do anything. And oh, Emptiness. No. Oh, I see. Yeah, I have the Judgment. Pretty crazy. I got it off the Esper Girl. But yeah, that, that's the power of psychics. You, you get that small combo off and it just trishes. <laughs> yeah, that combo's wild. in the Aklis. Mm. Fair enough. Draw for turn. Okay. I guess I'll just set a guy. And then I'll set two guys, and I will pass. Perfect. Mm-hmm. 
question is, what do I even want? I think I just banish the witch. You can't. You got Thunder King. It has two effects. It has a foolish effect too. Uh, uh well oh yeah you're right. I think I'll I'll chain him as T then. Yeah. Oh hitting the judgment like that. It's brutal. Draw standby. Effect to special the witch. Yeah. I will set one card and pass to you. Effect. Mm -hmm. I banish this very strong card. <laughs> Go. Ooh, <laughs> drop return. Oh my god, that's insane. We'll go standby phase and special summon the jumper. Yep, I, I assume I can't Thunder King this. No, it's a resolving effect. Yeah, I figured. We'll go main phase one and I will activate jumper's effect. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of sick, nasty. Well, in that case, I will enter battle phase and attack the witch. Yeah. And then my witch effect triggers. Yeah. This will allow me to banish the Esper girl. I will then... I really don't have a reason to do anything else. This Thunder King's pretty threatening to you. So yeah, I'm just gonna pass. And then in your standby phase, I get the Esper Girl. Advanced top card by deck face down. Effects. Good. Equip the Atlas. So what does that even do in this card? Okay. Jesus. Interesting. Okay, so he is at 19. Mm -hmm. I'll just enter battle phase, we'll crash it. Take the deep prison. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, we'll go main two. I'll normal summon silent psychic wizard and activate the effect. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I'll just pass. Yeah. Interesting. Draw for turn. I'll go standby main phase. I will activate dark hole. I think I just set one and pass.
Dragons like mono effect veilers. Effect. Uh, I guess I veil it. <sighs> Well, that's awkward. I'll set one. Fifteen again. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of cards. Uh, I'll, I'll space that one. Draw. Okay, that's a pretty good card. Normal summon Tengu. That's your last warning, so I'm gonna reborn the reborn Tengu. <laughs> Dang it, bro. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Effect. Time for game. Uh. Hold on, I'm thinking. You got the Valor? I have the warning. Okay, yeah, you have to do that or not. Yeah. That doesn't kill so, emptiness, right? Because it never hits the field. Uh, it's card sent from deck over the field. Yeah, I'd say it doesn't. 1700! Alright, 300! We're alive! <laughs> well, that's something. <laughs> Sorry, attack. Sure. Fair. Draw! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, another maxi. I'll chain and hit the ravine. Oh, it is ravine. Well, <laughs> it was horrible. I was praying it wasn't another monster. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, that one was a little weird. <laughs> I can't believe we saw a game where Bambi's was relevant. Yeah. <laughs> like it was actually nuts there. Ooh, but I got the I got the goo. Uh oh. We got the big boy. That's a good garden. Ooh. Stand by main. Swing in. Fair enough. Main fair. phase two. Another one. Nah, we'll just set a card. <laughs> and, uh. Set another card and pass. I was really hoping it wouldn't be Heavy Storm. You had MST? Huh. I didn't think that that card would be MST. Well, I figured I didn't really care if you killed the Thunder King as long as I could get the Mega Punish on the Ravine. Mm -hmm. Well, that gives me a uh, instant discard next turn. Let's see. All right, well, I'll draw for turn. Go stand by main. 
Ugh. God, you got a lot of stuff. Flip summon. I accept. Let's normal summon the jumper. Uh, I accept. Wonder Magician. Effect. I accept. I'll pop the ravine. Now it's very possible that you have another D prison set. Let's see. Feels really ballsy to just swing in an attack like that. So, I will elect to not attack. Right. Sure. Ramps up. Effect. Effect. I'll chain to the phalanx effect with Maxi. Alright, just don't draw next turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that works too. Yeah. I mean, either way, assuming you destroy this TG Wonder Magician, I get to draw a card. So. Uh, effect. Yep. Oh, that's not what I need. Uh, da, 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 da. Effect. Yep. Take the 600. All right, now you can draw that card. And I'll draw the card, and then I get to draw for turd. Okay. This isn't terrible. Stand by main. Hmm. Normal summon tank. I think so. Reach or swap. All right. Interesting. Huh. Well, I kind of have to attack here. So let's attempt it. Sure. And I will end my turn. Ravine. Yep. Oh, they need to do that. Dox effect. Half the Valor here, but it feels really bad. <laughs> Glad I didn't cut the Utopia. True. <laughs> he thinking. was on the chopping block. <laughs> Oh, stand by main phase. Interesting. God, this game just keeps getting harder. The oh, OP power of Dragoonity. Um, yeah, we're at time in New Year's history. It's just difficult to deal with a level 8 synchro every turn. Yeah. There is one potential outplay method but it's pretty ballsy <laughs> uh and i think i have to do it to okay. stay alive okay oh wait no never mind it doesn't work i'm not thinking with my brain uh well oh 
okay. Wait, that card kind of works, but like... No, it doesn't work. You're in Colossal Fighter. I think I have to play it patiently. I'll pass. Uh, you can deal with Scrap Dragon. Another Valor. Uh, where's Ducks at? Ducks effect. My, you're actually right. It's just game because you have Scrap Dragon. Indeed. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Dragoonie's OP, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the play was like Monster Reborn your ducks and then Synchro with it. And I was like, I can't do that. I could Monster Reborn my Wonder Magician and then Synchro for eight. But best I could do is like Thought Ruler. Mm. And that doesn't do anything because nope. you can just Colossal. So I just didn't have a way to interrupt your play on the next turn. And I was just too low life. Oh, that's so sad, dude. I don't know. Because, yeah, and I feel like I had to attack into that deep prison too because I was I had to get my Tengu back and also um, prevent you from having the exceed play on the next turn. So I had to attempt the attack. The only thing I could have done is attempted Monster Reborn on Wonder Magician to guarantee it goes through. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But that also comes with consequences of, like, Torrential is, like, Omega punishing there. Well, not really. I don't know. Damn. That's so sad, man. I really wanted to Psychics to make it in the top eight, but Dragoonie! Thanos deck, I guess, man. This deck's just underrated. <laughs> Dark World, Karkuri, and now Psychics. <laughs> that is a force to be reckoned with going into the next round. You styled on me game one, though. I didn't really know what was happening. Like, what was on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's part of the thing that yeah. makes Psychic so good is just, like, which is so versatile. Like, it can get you a lot of different things. Like, you can even get things like Psychic Commander. I think that's the only target you didn't see. But this could have, like, crashed with Thunder King if I needed to. Just, mm -hmm. like, weird stuff like that. Um, and I also didn't get to do the Miracle Synchro Fusion play, which is pretty sad. <laughs> no ultimate axe on kicker today. Nope. But yeah. No, this deck, when it goes off, it goes off. It's like disgustingly strong. And it's frustrating because there's just so many floaters. But honestly, it's just like, like, I really felt prepared for this matchup. I have like three Maxi, three Valor, and three um, MST. So like, that's like as good as you can have for going against Dragoonie in reality, like, outside of, like, I guess, DD Crow. But, yeah, it just wasn't enough. <laughs> Dragoonie's a B. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of Tournament of Tournaments. As a reminder, we release new episodes of the series every single Friday, so make sure you guys are subscribed not only to me, but also to Joe to help stay up to date on when we release new episodes and help support the series. And also... If you want to support me a bit further, you can sign up for my patron. And I'm going to give a shout out to my very first one, Sven Olbehrend. And I don't know if I said that right, but hey, shout outs to you, man. Thank you for the support. I really, really appreciate it. I would have never guessed that people would want to support me in that way. So super appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. And make sure you guys have a great time dueling today.